How's it going everybody? It's Mr. Green here and uh, today's project is I uh, have a pellet stove in my house and uh, I've got to get it all plumbed up for this winter because well the weather's getting cold now and it's got to be done so um, I'll show you the kit that I got and uh, then we can uh, go from there and I'll take you through the steps of installing it so it's a uh, made by Supervent and it's a it's a full pellet kit it comes through the wall and then comes up and it comes with all the bracing and all the corners and everything you need so you get a universal pipe adapter a thimble a T a 12 inch length or five 12 inch lengths uh, wall bands you get two of those and you get 90 degree elbow uh, a 45 degree elbow and a termination collar which is the end of the vent it's like a screen that they put on there so that's going to be the next step is to uh, get this installed today and I'll take you through the steps it's uh, pretty basic that's what it looks like it's got your three inch on the inside then it's stainless steel and then insulated and then galvanized on the outside so Everything is in the kit here. Sorry about the camera work here. I don't have my tripod set up. But uh, yeah, everything you need there is in the kit. It's got the two uh, the two parts that I need. But we'll, I'll take you through each step as I go to install it. So I'll take you in here and give you a quick shot of uh, the pellet stove and uh, and how I'm going to go about uh, installing okay, it. Okay, now this is my pellet stove. It's, uh, it's a very, I think it's almost 10 years old or more. It's um, made by, let me get that in focus, uh, Warnock Hershey makes this pellet stove. It's uh, meant to heat up to 2,000 square feet. So right now I have it uh, sitting in the corner of the room there and I'm going to run, the pipe is actually going to come out. comes out right, uh, there's an old chunk of pipe that I'm not using anymore, but comes out right here. That's your three inch out. So I need to put a 45 to a 45 and then out the wall here so that's just gonna take some time to get everything lined up and uh, I recommend dry fitting everything first before you start uh, attaching things to anything permanently so that's where we're gonna start from is right there and I'll take you step by step through uh, installing this be right back okay just a quick overview of what you get in the kit um, you get, I'll start over here, this, these are the two braces for the wall outside. Uh, that's your, this here is the cap that, uh, I need that sticker on there, that goes on the end of the pipe. I just blocked it from birds and stuff going in it. And then this is the collar with the three inch that attaches to the stove. Here's your 45, here's your wall slot. I don't know exactly what the, the name of it is, but, uh, it expands to go to the thickness of your wall, which I might have an issue with because this is a log, log home and I think the walls are almost 20 or 15 inches wide, something like that. We'll get into it uh, once we get the hole cut in. But uh, then you get the five pieces of straight length and then you get your clean out. This is your T and then there's a clean out on the bottom and then you get a 90 degree elbow and then you get a tube of silicone. So that's the kit that you get and I bought it at Home Depot and it was $299. Ridiculously overpriced for what you actually get but you don't really have a choice. You can buy them individually but then it ends up costing more. I even looked online like on Amazon and stuff like that I was going to buy them that way and everything is about the exact same price as Home Depot and Home Depot will beat beat anybody's price and 10% so I mean how can you argue so um, it's kind of you just gotta kind of go with it I guess but uh, anyways so I will uh, start getting stuff lined up inside and then we'll uh, go through the steps of uh, installing this so okay we'll right so back. now what I did is I lined up I put uh, because I gotta use this 45 degree elbow here you don't necessarily have to use it here it's actually meant to go on the outside to give it a bit more of a downturn but because of the way I'm mounting it in here I needed uh, 
I needed the 45 inside. So what I did was I measured from the floor up to the center of this pipe and that was 16 inches. So I measured up exactly where this is going to come in, meet to the wall. I marked uh, 16 inches up from the ground and then I measured, I put the 5 here and I measured over 5 this way, 5 this way and then the same idea there and there then took a level and made it a box and now that's uh, 10 inches by 10 inches that's the size you need for the plate right here so on this plate there's uh, little tabs here and that's where you had to measure was around the outside so that's 10 inches so that's my next step and uh, yeah so we'll get this cut out I'm gonna use drywall saw for the inside and not sure about the outside because it's aluminum siding but we'll we'll get to uh, that shortly so we get this cut out and then we'll take a look okay so now that I got the hole cut in the wall um, now one thing I did mention before you want to make sure that you're not going to run into a stud because they're every 16 inch on center so I knew that there would be a stud here so that's why I went against here and then out so now my walls are a lot deeper than most people's so I've actually got two layers of insulation in here so what I did is I took this long bit here, I mean there is other ways to do it, but because uh, you can't actually get a whole drill in there if you needed to, but I, uh, so I drilled a hole to the outside there, so now I've got to go measure my measurements out there and then uh, probably get the skill saw out or maybe the um, uh, saw saw, so a reciprocating saw. So that's going to be the next step. So we'll go inside and we'll take a look. All right. So what I've done now is uh, this is the plate for the outside. And because I have aluminum siding, and I guess if you have any kind of siding like this, then what you want to do is you want to mark out the full t 10 inches, or uh, 12 inches, sorry. And uh, you want to mark that 12 inches, do the same thing you did on the inside. And you're going to cut this out, the siding out first, and then the wood later because you have to leave an inch around the outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this uh, air cutoff saw to uh, to do this, and uh, I'm gonna have my uh, little girl here record a little bit while I, uh, while I do that, so. just through there now, so my little compressor that I'm using for this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to uh, find a different way to do this, so we'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so, so once you get your siding cut out, and uh, there's my center hole from the inside. I used uh, a grinder and a pair of tin snips to get it all out. So now, when you take this, that fits right in there and then it all gets siliconed around the outside. Obviously it fits in the other way. So now I've got to uh, cut my hole for uh, for this plate to fit in. So that's the next step. So I'm going to get it all marked in and uh, get that cut and I'm going to drill it out with, uh, with this long bit again just because it's on here and then use uh, my sawzall to uh, cut the rest. So. We'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, so now that I got my holes cut, now I got uh, one inch space around, and then now this piece will just fit right in there. A little bit of, uh, oh, there it goes. And uh, now that just needs to be screwed in and then it'll all be siliconed around thereafter. So now that that part's done, we're going to move on to uh, getting the pipes lined up and, uh, and go from there. So. We'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, so now that I got uh, that in, I just pushed two lengths of pipe through, and uh, then there's that 45, 
and then sorry it's hard to see down here then it goes into the adapter that goes onto the pellet stove so now we'll uh, I'll we'll go outside and we'll uh, finish putting the rest of the piping together so we'll be back here in a second okay now that uh, we're onto this part we're gonna install the rest of the kit and uh, now the little red things on right yeah yeah okay perfect so just talking to my little girl so now the next step is to put the T on on the other side so we're gonna do that so put that on there all right got everything nice and tight so then take that then we'll grab another chunk of uh, straight pipe and uh, now we'll put uh, one clamp here, I think, on the... Just gonna loosen these off a bit. <laughs> Sorry. And then uh, we're gonna put one here. You don't have to go that close, but you need to move back. <laughs> Sorry, it's opened up. And these are just braces for the outside, so if you ever get any snow or anything laying against them, which I would never let happen, because it's right here. Okay. So I got one brace on there. This one, turn, and you just turn them and they lock right on there. So there's that one. And then, I may have to, oh. Okay, you can just stand back there, honey. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll put on another one. They can't. I can't really see from here. It, it's a little too. Oh wait, yeah. Okay. Put that one on. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put another one of these braces on. Top piece. <laughs> I actually want to switch these so that they're all facing back a little more. So I get a nice look at the pipe at the front. Okay, there. Little things like that. Worth taking the extra time. Okay, and then I've got the top vent. Get this on here. Okay. My arm is killing me. And then, sorry. And then this top cap goes on. You need to turn in the camera all different ways. Okay, guys. It's okay. Hard drive was full there. I had to delete a few videos, but uh, that's it fully installed. And uh, now I won't bore you with the taking these, and I got to put mount those on there and tighten them up, but that's just a couple of screws. So now, because I used the 45 inside, this normally would be aimed down a little bit more. It is just fine because this is away from the wind anyways. We get the wind all from the west, which is uh, up that way. So this is on the back side of the house. And uh, right here on the bottom, I just got to go around silicone and everything too. You take this little cap, you give it a half turn, and then you can clean out your pipe from there. And uh, works quite well. I've seen people actually take like an electric leaf blower, go inside, put it in the end of the pipe, and just blow it all out. That's a good thing to do because you know you're going to get everything out there. So uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, I want to say thank you to Jayla for helping me record today. It's the first time helping me do that. So, But uh, I appreciate everybody uh, checking this video out. And uh, click that thumbs up button if you could. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, uh, subscribe. And there will be uh, lots more videos coming 
about just about everything out there. So uh, we'll talk to everybody soon. Have a great day.